Hi, this is Bonnie, and I am working on another set of uh, pocket letter inserts. This one is called Stitching Love, and I printed off the entire um, set that Sherry is selling right now on mybestiesshop.com. And um, right here you get eight inserts, and she's also making a kit where you can get envelopes, banners, and... Um, I'm trying to think oh here we go envelope banners and a bow and what I did is doesn't come like this you get a sheet of envelopes you get a sheet of bows and you get a sheet of banners and the strip what I did is I cropped what I wanted for this particular um, set that I'm working on and I'm um, just printed it off on one piece of paper instead of printing each um, set that comes with it. So anyway, that is one of the things I'm going to be using for the um, next set that I'm doing. And then I want to show you a couple of other things. I'm going to be using some SVGs. Um, Sherry, as you know, is selling SVGs. One of the new ones is this cute little button here. Let me get that a little bit closer. Um, you can get it um, with two holes or four holes. The next thing that is coming out or is going to be out is an inkwell. This one right here is square. There's also going to be a round one. It comes with a label and it also comes with a feather pen. So I've got those two things that are coming out. She's going to have those things coming out um, that I'm making for this particular um, pocket letter inserts. The other thing I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using um, Sherry's um, stamp set and I was trying to see what the name of this one was. Oh, Loving Wishes. And um, I'm going to be using that to stamp on my label. There are some really cute small ones. In fact, the one I'm going to be using or I've already started to use is this one right here. So her stamps come in really handy whenever you want to do anything with your SVGs. So I'm going to show you what I've started doing so far. And, oh, I forgot, there are a couple new, um, I want to say, words that you can also cut out with your SV, or cut out for your pocket letters that are SVGs. One of them is letter, and the other one is for you. So those also work really nice on your pocket letters. So this is how I've set mine up so far. And then I'm leaving the center right here to put the ink well in. And um, the other thing that I've done, like I told you, I did some stamping, and I stamped on this. This one, as you could see before, was basically, it was plain, and then I stamped that to the side. The other one I stamped is this one right here. I just stamped that at the top. And again, I'll show you that one. There it is right there. So um, that's just really basic beginning of working on the pocket letters kind of like what I did before I just start basic and then I add more embellishments as I go so one of the things I wanted to show you straight away is I thought I've had this paper this handmade paper for a while and I'm going to use this for my um, insert for this center that's going to have the ink well on it and I one of the things I wanted to show you that's kind of fun to do with this kind of paper is if you use your um, sanding block and you just pull it away a little bit it gives it makes it a little bit I want to say um, fuzzy but it just gives a nice really nice look to it a um, little bit different texture and um, I don't know if you can see that but it's really kind of fun a little bit furry or whatever you want to call it, but it gives it an old look for the for the inkwell, I think. The other thing that I'm doing so far is I did cut out, like I told you, the feather pen. And I also sanded that because this was white core and I sanded around the edges of it. I, I actually cut this out twice because I am going to layer that so it pops up. I'm going to put it on the outside of my pocket letter um, sheet so it gives a little bit of dimension this is the one that i um stamped it is going to be going in the center and um and it'll be end up going on top of this and it'll be going in my center pocket so i'm going to get that all together and continue to show you step by step what i'm doing thanks 
All right, so I've added my feather to the um, pocket letters, and I made it so that the feather, like I told you, pen is on the outside. So again, if somebody wanted to fold this up, it's not going to hurt anything because I made sure that it fit in between the two um, creases here. And then I also decorated my um, inkwell. I'm probably going to add a little bit more right here, but for now I wanted you to see how far I've gotten. The other thing that I did was I went ahead and strung the heart buttons. And I, I used black um, baker's twine and I put a little bit of foam tape behind it. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to um, have this just drape on the outside like it's a banner and again it's not going to affect um, folding this up and mailing it off to anybody and I'm using foam tape and this is just going to hang I'm going to probably tie that off and hang it down so that's how that probably going to um, adjust that just slightly and I'll show you how I'm going to do that but I wanted to get to give you an idea of what I was doing next all right so um, I did add a little bit more to above the inkwell, I put some flowers. And again, when you fold it, it's not gonna be much of a bulk at all. And um, the other thing I did, if you can see, I actually just use a regular doily that you buy at the store. I actually can show you the rest of it that I did use. I just a regular doily, a paper doily, or you can cut your own. It doesn't really matter, just that this was what I had available. And I put that right here in the bottom corner of this one. And then at the very bottom, um, I also put a piece behind here. You can't see it's actually on the card or the insert, so you can see it there a little bit. So when it comes out, people can still see it. Um, you can also see the 3D um, bow that's down here. It is the one I showed you at the beginning, and I did cut that out, and it's just adhered with a glue dot. And again, I've got it so that it's underneath the seam so it can be folded up and work just fine. The other thing is this one right here, which is you're not seeing, is the um, the letter um, insert. And like I did for my last video, when I showed you some pocket um, inserts, is I'm doing the same concept. I put the ribbon on the back with a glue dot, and but this time I cut out the envelope that comes with a kit when you purchase the um, stitching letters or stitching love pocket letters from Sherry Baldy. You also get the um, envelopes, you get, like I told you, the um, bows, and you also get the banners. So this is the envelope. I enlarged it so that it would fit on the back of the um, pocket letter insert. Right now I'm just taking off the tape so that I can adhere it to the back of the insert so that um, a letter or a note, whatever you want to put, or a little flat gift can be put in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fold this up a little bit so you can see how that does work. I can see it better when I go to put it down on my insert. So that's how it gets folded up, and that's the placement. Whoops, I have to turn that so I can tie it that way. So it stays closed. That's the way you want your flaps to go. Okay, and then all you do is just like I showed you in the last video, you just tie this down. Only thing different this time is instead of just using a doily, oh, I really didn't say that to you, I'm sorry. Um, I did cut this out, the envelope, like I told you, and then I place another doily on the inside of the envelope and, and tape that all down. And then again, like I said, we can fold this up and tie that up. The doily just gives it a little extra, I don't know, it looks just pretty. Um, so, and like I said, there's a place there for any note or a letter. Um, so that's the um, letter insert. And other than I'll probably turn some of these into actual um, mini cards, um, but it's not going to be a whole lot different than what you already see here. The other thing is, um, I forgot to say, is the ones that have the buttons on them, you can see right here, I actually stitched. 
Um, you can't really see, but I actually stitched using the Baker's twine. This is the Baker's twine that I have. I use that stitching through the holes, even though it's just paper. I made it try to look like it's a little bit more 3D. I did it for that insert, and I also did it for this insert right here. That way, there was a button right there. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I'll take pictures so you can see what they all look like. Um, please come back again. Like I said, I will continue. There's a new one coming out soon, and I will share that with you as well and, and how I put it together. Um, so please comment and subscribe, and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.